Tales are not like Mother Goose rhymes that are based on facts and real people. Fairy tales are fantasies. They are fun to read. I read them myself every night, but nobody really believes them. I believe them. <laughs> oh, Herman! <laughs> He's so funny. Big joke. Ooh. Anyway, fairy tales are full of imaginary characters who are loaded with magical powers. Like Cinderella's fairy godmother. Now she could change a pumpkin into a coach, or mice into horses, and anything else into anything else. I believe it! <coughs> then there's Pinocchio's good fairy. With a wave of a stick, she changed him from a wooden puppet into a genuine, real live boy. I believe it! And then there are bad fairies, like the one in Sleeping Beauty, who turned herself into a fire-breeding dragon. I believe it. Then you're always sure to find a wicked queen like the one in Snow White. She drank some of her own black magic and turned herself into uh, an awful mess. Oh, boy, it's dead hard to swallow. But I believe it anyway. Herman, I could smash you. I believe it. Ooh, ick. In fairy tales, you will find all kinds of giants. There is small giants and the big economy-sized giants, like the one in Jack and the Beanstalk. That's a real big giant. It's really an old fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, you know. African Zulus used to tell it, American Indians told it, and everybody practically who told this tale gave it different characters. But no matter who told it, it was always the same story, and they all used the same magic beans. And these beans is the same ones I am going to imagine in the story I am going to dream up. Once upon a long time ago, there was a place called Happy Valley. And it was called Happy Valley because everyone there was very happy. <laughs> this place was really beautiful. It was one of nature's garden spots, nestled among green growing hills. With a babbling brook, bubbling and babbling as it flowed through the valley. The winding roads all lined up with high trees, lush fields, and prosperous farms all over the place. And way up high on the hill overlooking the valley, there stood a big red barn. No, what am I saying? I mean, there was a big castle. And inside the castle, there was kept a real precious thing. A magic singing harp. And, oh boy, could that magic harp sing. Listen. What a sunny sky kind of makes you sigh in a happy way. What a very merry day, all the world is gay. When your cares are light and your heart takes flight and you're swept away. The air is sweet with clover, the clouds are turning over. Oh yes, they're turning over just to show their silver lining. My, what a happy day. Never knew such bliss, never read of this in a book or play. What a lovely day. What a great big gorgeous, sumptuous, thumping, bumptious, humgalumptious, simply scrumptious. My, what a happy 
happy day. My, what a happy day. Never do such bliss, never read up this in a book or play. What a lovely day. What a great big gorgeous, sumptuous, stomping, bumptious, humcalumptious, simply scrumptious. Oh my, oh my, what a happy day. <laughs> yes, sir. The voice of this year, Golden Harp, cast a magic spell of happiness and prosperity over the whole valley. But it was too good to last. Because one day, a mysterious shadow crept over the valley. And something awful.